In the United States and Canada, as in most countries, people like to invite guests to their homes. But sometimes misunderstandings occur and embarrassing things happen. Everyone seems to have a story about a difficult situation involving a guest. We're going to look at some of those stories today, then ask people what they would do in these sticky situations. Let's take a look. I was invited to a party, and I arrived an hour early. I thought it would take me longer to get there. Well, Rebecca came to the door wearing sweatpants and an old t-shirt. Hi. Oh, hi. Rebecca, um, uh, am I too early? You're the first one. I'm the first yeah. one. I could hear the shower running in the background, and of course, not a single guest was there. Wow. Well, we asked some people about what they would have done in this situation. What would I have done? I would have pretended to have an errand to run in the neighborhood, like going to the drugstore, the grocery store, and then I would have told her I'd come back later. <laughs> if I were him, I would have apologized and then offered to help with things, like setting the table. You wouldn't have left? No, I don't think so. And what if the situation were reversed? What would you have done if you were the host and a guest arrived early? Mm, if I were the host, same thing, really. I would have invited him in and put him to work. What would you have done? Now let's take a look at another predicament. I invited my boss and her husband to dinner the other night. We had a great time, but she just wouldn't leave. By midnight, my husband and I were so exhausted. Finally, my husband fell asleep at the table. My boss was very embarrassed when she realized it was so late. I just never know what to do when a guest won't go home. So, what should the host have done? Let's get some opinions. I don't care if she is my boss. I think I would have reminded her how late it was. I wouldn't have done anything, except pretend I wasn't tired. After all, she's your boss. I'm not sure, but I think I might have lied and told her I had to wake up early in the morning. Then I would have thought of some reason. What would you have done? Let's take a look at one last situation. My new neighbor invited me over for lunch. I was a good guest. I came on time, I left on time, I even brought a loaf of bread. It's a good thing, too, because I couldn't eat anything else. You see, the host served seafood, and I hate seafood. I'm not allergic to it, but I really can't stand it. I probably hurt her feelings, but what should I have done? What should the guest have done? Let's see what the people we talked with had to say. I think I would have lied and told the host that I was allergic to seafood. I think you should eat whatever the host makes, even if you don't like it. I mean, if someone goes to all the trouble to cook you something, it's rude not to eat it. You know, I had a similar experience once. I served a dish with tomatoes in it to someone who was allergic to them. He broke out in a rash. It was terrible. Now when I invite people to dinner, I tell them what I'm planning to make sure that they can eat it. The host in that situation should have asked her guest about food allergies and food preferences before she planned the menu. What would you have done? We've heard a number of practical solutions to some difficult guest situations. Now you should be ready for anything.